On this fine 4th of July, I thought that I would share one of my favorite Founding Father stories. That being the story of how George Washington, the first president, racked up a 17,000 bar tab. It was September of 1787, and George Washington was about to be the first president of the United States. At the time, he had met up with the Light Horse of Philadelphia, which was a volunteer cavalry corps that had crossed the Delaware River with him, which inspired that very famous painting. So they met up at the city tavern and proceeded to order 54 bottles of Madeira, 60 bottles of Claret wine, 8 bottles of whiskey, 22 porters, 8 things of cider along with 12 of beer, and 7 full bowls of punch. This, along with all the damages to the property as well as the glasses, resulted in a total fee of 89 pounds and 4 shillings. Or what is today worth over 17 grand. Mind you, there were only 54 attendees to this actual party, which meant that we're talking two bottles of wine, several shots, and a few cups of punch for each guest. But happy 4th of July, people, and remember to be responsible.